How's it going everybody? Hockey 6 here, giving you guys another episode of The Crooked Man. Apparently, I'm back here. No, not back. I mean, I just came here. What the, f the hell am I saying? Anyway, from last episode, pretty much we helped out D, or Dreamer, to get out of the house. We fought The Crooked Man there with a pipe, I, I assume it was, and he went home. I went to another different location so we're in front of a I think a hospital at, uh, as that's what they called it yeah so this is a hospital lovely uh really I didn't know that not operational little saves to be stuck on the fourth floor okay fourth floor so we keep that in mind ooh is this a door the door is out, clearly clinic, it has a number lock, why does it have a fucking number lock? It has locked batteries up or, it's not work. what the, the blood, duh, duh, do we have to, like, find batteries now, what the hell, I sort of got a, the grudge better not be in here, cause this is a hospital, and there was a hospital scene number, in the grudge. For Juo, there's nothing in the lockers. I don't know why my computer's being so a little bit slow. I don't know why. Fucking hell. Wonder if there's anything that is simple lock, so maybe I could get it out without a key. Okay, so we need to find a key. Fuck, I almost sound like Market Player a little bit. What the fuck? I must have Market Player-itis. Eh, yeah, must have. Or anything. There's lights. Some sort of equipment. Cardboard box. It says lots of fat on the top. Okay, uh, what's this? Key number locked with a password. All buttons pressed. Um, okay. Am I doing this right? I guess I was. I guess all of them had to be pressed. There's a sort of... What the fuck? Cafeteria key and an elevator truck. Okay, so it gave me two keys. That's... That's... That's good. That's very... That's very good. I guess. And this is upstairs. That's a very sketchy upstairs. That is. Especially how it is. Doors busted. Doors busted. Doors busted. What's this room? Cafeteria. Okay. Love the cafeteria. So this is cafeteria. It's, it's not. It's not very good. I'll tell you that. What are these cans are here for? Empty can. Okay. It's very fine. The bloody. Were those? Did the cans fell off? What? Cans rolled on the ground. Something fell out. Something fell out. What? A small wire. Okay, this is getting weird. Now I have a small wire. The hell is that supposed to be for? Okay. Door seems to be busted. Okay. Door seems to be busted. Okay. Jeez, who keeps busting all these doors? God. An elevator. <laughs> the current seat, but the. That's blood stains. I kind of had the feeling I don't want to go in there, but it's like I have to. So. What's behind curtain number three? Nothing. Okay, what's behind curtain number two? Nothing. And what's behind curtain number one? Crooked man. No blood stains. Okay. There's dark blood written on the on the bed. Like, likely blood. Do not moan them. Do not avoid their eyes. It is 
happier for them. I have saved them. What the fu- Them? Who's them? That's kind of sketchy. Actually, tell you the truth, that was actually a quote from the from Madfather. Actually, like he wanted to save him, but he kept on they they kept on screaming. So it's like kind of bad, like very very bad. Okay, what's this room? I think this was a uh, uh, hospital. No, no, I don't. A gift store. Gift store. Had to be like one of those gift stores. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life from aching, or cool one pain, or help one fading robin into his nest again, I shall not live in vain. The the hell does that mean? Like, are you helping them or something? I don't get. I bet all these guys are all busted doors, so it's kind of stupid. Is that a cat? The fuck, there was a cat in here. Oh, it's a bleeding cat. That's that's um. That's wonderful. Who? Who fucking kill the kitty? Who fucking kill the kitty? Well, whoever you are, you kill the kitty. Fuck. A dead cat. Stomach has been cut out open. That's gross. Poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait. There's something in there. Please don't tell me, David. You're gonna put your freaking hands inside a cat's stomach, are you? You are, aren't you? You're gross. That's really un unappealing and disgusting. I got a bloody key. Alrighty then, a bloody key. Oh, top of the morning to you. Dead animals. Really? Were these... It's kittens? Were they cut open and they're stuck? Who could have, yeah, who could have fucking done that is the question. Like, they're really fucking sick. I bet those doors are busted. They're busted. They're busted. And they're busted. And they're busted. Okay. So now we go to the third floor. No, wait, this is the fourth floor. Never mind, because there's no other. Is that a pee stain? It looks like piss. Might be vomit. Okay, so someone threw up. It looks like piss. Like, okay, I can go around it. But... The fuck was that? There's a shadow there. Um, okay. Got a little sketched out now. Got a scrap of the notebook. Yeah! I sat in the chair. Watched the bed like always. Other there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I come... I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. What question? This... His notebook... No doubt, he was here. But if he's still here now, yeah, that's not gonna work. If he's in an odd like, why would people be in an abandoned kind of crap ass place? Is the question. Yeah, all these fucking doors are just like freaking ah, so stupid. What's this? Pride open? Sure, why not? Is it kind of unsafe to be in an elevator that probably has an abandoned place? An elevator trunk. It's locked. Good thing I have the key. 
And what did I get? An AED. What the fuck's an AED? Fuck's an AED. AED. An automatic extraction de um, defibrillator has only a little battery left. Maybe I can take out the batteries from it? Battery show it's about half charged. Oh, blue, it didn't take out a battery. Yay, I took out batteries. I'm smart. I'm a smarticle kid. Yay, I'm smart. Okay, now let's get uh, to that, maybe to that door. Probably we could like... Do you guys hear that? I hear children singing. Sounds like it's getting close from in here. There's a fucking kid in here. Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Uh, come on, talk. Er, uh, um... Are you mute, perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well, then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I love baseball, too. Mama gave me a glove. So I played every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. I'm sorry. Um, what? Who names their kid Fluffy? Isn't that a dog's name? The, the f Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah, Mama said my hair's fluffy like a towel, so fluffy. I see. Where is your mama, Fluffy? I can't take him serious now. I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking around right by Mom. Then... She went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here and sang. But Mama hasn't come back. So you got lost. Is your house close from here? Um, my house close to school. But you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something you ha to have to wait here all alone. Great. A kid's lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hopefully that'll be a good idea. Hey, Fluffy. It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Um... Okay, let's go. No! What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a portable car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scary cat, aren't you? Fluffy! It's like I just lost my dog. I don't even know if it was a... I, uh, I'm confused. Better give ch Chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police any anyway. I'll take him somewhere safe if I see him again. Okay, so... I guess that's an objective, but the question is, where the freak did he go? Yeah, where... That's the question. Where the fuck did he go? God. Well, anyway, since I had the battery, 
Wait, that bloody key, does it work on anything? Does it? Does it work on that locker? Oh no, not the key, the wire. Okay. Okay, so that's... Got a note with a locker. Number lock. Number lock? Uh... Where's the note? Four, four, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. So I guess that probably helps. I put the batteries in the lock device. Oh! Four, four, eight, nine. There we go. Now I'm getting progress. Yay, I'm getting... This is a straight hole. Oh, for a second thought, I thought probably the straight hole was going to kill me or something. I was about to say, <gasps> I would have died. Okay. Um, where do I got to go? Where do I got to go? There's a lot of rooms in here. Is this a room? The one's bathroom. The lock is bust. The man's bathroom. The lock is bust. I need to head to the bathroom. What's wrong with all of you? Emergency patient transport. So the doors won't open. Okay. It won't open. Can everything in this goddamn hospital open, really? Seriously, come on. Oh, this is peaceful. Uh, only a few books here. The way, way of a modern family, family in medicine. Okay. Um, diary. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing. To open it, you have to arrange let letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made a keyword my family <clears throat> my favorite word that irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. That's it? Nothing else? Unbelievable! When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But what, what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time, more importantly, I don't know if I can bring myself the skull, my troublesome daughter. Kind of scrap piece of paper with hints. Okay, so let's look at that. Flour is good. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. Nurse knows that get close to the sky. Okay, so I guess probably those are the hints that probably we have to find. Um, the first one is... Flower is good. Oh, there's something in the vase. A piece. <gasps> oh, I get it. All right, so we found the first piece. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. God damn, stop being a market player. Um, what's in here? What's this? There's something on the desk. A key to a constant room. Okay, so we need to find a constant room. Uh, okay, so we found the one piece. What was the next uh, piece of the hint? Question? Question? Wash your hands. Okay, so I was kind of thinking probably wash your hands me by in the bathroom, but they're, the locks are all busted. So there has to be another way to probably get the way to clean your hands. Okay, floor two. At least that helps me out. Uh, precision room. Oh! I didn't know you were here. The hell did you get in here? There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? 
I can handle the dark fight. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry like some baby. Ah, oh, great. Another jerk. You sure do seem brain fluffy. I have to admit that. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're as brave as Captain America. Don't you dare use that name. This is not Marvel. I kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here, I am looking for someone. If only there were someone here to depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, that's a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If he doesn't, Sheriff's office it is. Okay, so it looks like we have a companion, so that's actually kind of cool. And you can tell because he's in our party. So yeah, woohoo! So Fluffy has 50 health, 30 magic. I don't know why that magic or the mana is not ever going to work. And we have no monies. Great. That's a great off start of an adventure. But with that, we're going to end this episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. This was Hockey 6. And next episode, we're going to explore more around the whole place. And try to find out the, where the pieces are. So, yeah. So everybody take care. So, see ya.